Priority number one at the airplane crash site near Buffalo is removing the remains of every last person from the wreckage. The Erie County Medical Examiner's Office says it's going to take three or four days to collect all the remains. Crews are waiting till that is done before removing the plane. We've described this process that's going on at the scene as an excavation. Uh, and that's truly what it is, because keep in mind there's an airplane that fell on top of a house and they are now intermingled and the house and the airplane are together. Officials say that early evidence shows both engines were working properly when the plane crashed. Even though the airplane data from the black box shows that the wings were being covered with ice, officials have not yet determined a cause. It was just a, a sudden catastrophic event that took uh, place and then 30 seconds later they impacted the ground. The NTSB says it looks like this plane hit flat on the ground with all four points, the nose, the tail and both wings hitting at about the same time. But in a bit of a surprise, instead of the plane facing towards the runway at Buffalo, the nose is facing in the complete opposite direction. So there's a possibility this plane was involved in a flat spin. People from all walks of life were on board Continental Connection Flight 3407. Alison DeForge truly was making the world a better place. She was the lead advisor for Africa for the organization Human Rights Watch. DeForge's husband says she was returning from London, where she spoke to a member of parliament about the current government in Rwanda. She was a person who had um, a great deal of intelligence and a great deal of energy, uh, but the most important thing was that she had a great deal of dedication to helping other people. This was going to be a happy weekend for Maddie Loftus. She was supposed to be playing in an alumni hockey game at Buffalo State College. Instead, her friends and former teammates played without her. Like we've had time to cry and we've gone through so many emotions for the last couple of days and um, to go out and just have fun, um, to laugh together and play together for the first time in years for some of us and, and then be able to kind of dedicate that game to Maddie. And Authorities want to have the remains of all 50 victims removed from the wreckage before Wednesday because a snowstorm is in the forecast and that could make the recovery effort much more difficult. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, Clarence Center, New York.